I play your games on itch. Today we're going to do three more. Um, I've had a request come through my DMs to uh, give this game a try, so why not? Let's give it a go. Um, hello. Note that this is my Ludum Dare, and it is Dare, it's not Dare. Um, I found that out exclusively from Joshua McLean um, when uh, watching one of his live streams, so uh, there you go. Uh, the Ludum Dare 47 Game Jam entry, the theme was stuck in a loop. Sounds like my day-to-day -day life. Um, hope you enjoy my game. So this game is basically a platformer, great. But when you reach the level of choosing the doors, but be careful because each door will lead you somewhere different. Mwahahahahahaha. <laughs> well, you evil son of a... Uh... Anyway, hope you enjoy the game. If browser laggy, then please download. Feedback and suggestions are most welcome. Well, let's see if we can get you some feedback and maybe one or two suggestions. Let's see, anyway. Made with Unity. Let's go full screen. Give me full screen. Time doors. Oh, I like the old style piano music. The music's great. This is awful. I get that it's a game jam. Oh, let me turn that down a tad. This looks like an afterthought. Yeah, they, they change a different color uh, when you hover over. Uh, the color of the text doesn't change. Um, a little bit more, con well, I, I don't want to say consistency because the whole game may be this kind of style, but first impressions wise, just a basic text. You know, these buttons definitely could be a bit smaller. The text could be a bit smaller. They don't need to be that wide, I don't think. Um, time doors, maybe a picture of a door. I don't know. I think the the title screen maybe was thrown together right at the last minute. Correct me if I'm wrong. I've got two options. I can play or I can quit. Well, quitters don't win games. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm stuck on a, uh, a basic Unity plane. And I can walk around presumably with the WASD. It hasn't told me, but I'm just guessing. Okay, there's a message in the sky. Go to the door. Each time you go through the door, you have to get to a particular objective and note that you travel front or back in time. So beware. Tip for doing the parkour. Ooh. You have to jump, then go forward. Well, if you have to explain controls, then I'm not looking forward to this. Right, here we go. Whoa! Um, uh, okay. So, I have to get to the door. Jump space. Wow, I can jump for days. Um, yeah. I don't... Nice little shine. Um, yeah, it's quite basic. Um, I don't like the controls. I feel like I have no control. I feel like when I jump... Oh my word. I feel like when I jump, it's just going to be a case of potluck as to where I land. Is this platform slightly wonky? Reminds me a little bit of Roblox. I don't play Roblox. My daughter plays Roblox. Okay, we might as well just... Okay. And then I go back. Yeah, it's, it's basically Roblox. But see, I wanted to land on that blue one, but I completely overshot it through the fact that you can just jump forever. Am I on it? Am I for... Where am I? Am I... Oh, I can back. Okay, I'm going to jump. Yeah, you, um, you've given me a capsule as a, as a player. Um, yeah, you need to make... Give, give the player more control. I have no control over this jump. I totally overjumped that. Uh, there's a zero in the sky. Um, what, is this... Am I on a new level? This wasn't where I got to before. Um, what does that text say? It's backwards. I have to get over there to read it. There's a door up there. Okay, I, I get where I'm going. I get the concept. But I just can't control these jumps. And I've fallen off. Yeah, this is really frustrating. Uh, uh, yeah, the concept's okay. You know, it's it's nothing new. If I jump from back there, maybe I can hit that first one. But the, yeah, the acceleration and the deceleration. It accelerates too quickly. And then the deceleration 
is really slow. And I don't get a sensation that I'm falling when I fall off. If I go right to the edge and jump, I totally overshoot that first one. So I want to just land on that pink one, but then I'm stuck between holding backwards. And again, I don't feel like I'm falling. I feel like I'm just suspended in the air there. So I can get straight to the orange one. And I fall off again. Yeah, I think half the battle with these types of games is the control. Like the concept, yeah, I get it. It's an easy, easy concept to get. But in order to encourage replayability, you need to make the player feel like they're really in control. And when they make a mistake, it's down to their misjudgment, not the control system. And I don't get that feeling at all. I'm going to give it one more go. And then I'm going to quit because I'm a quitter. I'm a bad loser. Get to the brown one. See, yeah, no, that's frustrating. I'd love to be able to read that, but I'm just not good enough to get there with the control system that you have implemented. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, it's uh, it's a game jam game. You've got to get to the doors. Like, the concept of the doors taking you different places, um, you know, I, I didn't even get to experience really that, that whole side of things just because, you know, the, the controls are holding me back more than anything else. And... There's a big zero up there to indicate my my skill level at this game. Um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. It's a nice little game jam game. Um, that's all I'm going to do for this one. Uh, let's get on to another game. So if you want me to play your game, there's various ways you can get it to me. You can go to my YouTube channel and you can leave a comment with a link to your game on itch. And I'll play it if there's a web build or if there's a Mac uh, downloadable option, I will definitely play it. Um, in the short term, while the subscriber base is still pretty low, um, I'm going to head over to Itch and play games from this um, post in the general discussion um, in the community section. Play my game, Games for YouTubers, May 2020. Um, and I'm just going to scroll down and just find games to play in here because these are obviously people that want their games played. Um, I'm not going to read all the blurb. I am going to click and see if I can play it. There is a Mac version. Should we do the Mac version? Okay, here it is. Direct Ascent by Honey Fun. This game is tiny. Is this a mobile game? It looks like it's built for mobile. Since I'm getting pretty far into my game's development stage and want more views, I've decided to put this play for play thread where you can submit your games for me to play and review if you play my game however I will not play games with violence or language in it so please avoid submitting games that have those in fine let's play your game honey fun choose save well I have no saves I've not played before so let's go new game loading Create save. Enter save name. Xander Wood. Yes. Nice. Nice sound. Direct descent. Play quit. There's always play and quit. You either play or quit. Get out of here or play. Uh, what's this? It's a star. Booster bird. Reward unlock. Okay. View more. Reward unlock the falcon heavy requirement. Get 5,000 points. I don't feel like I need to know this straight away. I feel like... Maybe that could come, I mean, I know I did click on it, but maybe that should be grayed out um, at the beginning. Because obviously, if it's my first time playing, I don't really need to know. This may be good. Oh, I like these. Music. Well, let's keep the music. Let's keep the sound on. Post processing on. Clearing. Clear settings. Exit. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, snapshot. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of overwhelming amounts of things to click on when I first start again. Because I'm so, I get so distracted that... I know I should just click play, but I'm like, oh, what does this do? What if I hover over that? What if I hover over that? Can I click on that and see what that does? And then I click on this and I'm like, whoa, what are all these things? I'm sure they're all fantastic, but I just don't feel like I need to know that right now. So let's just go play. Choose a rocket. Space shuttle. Okay, get 5,000 points to unlock this rocket. Reach asteroid ambush level two to unlock this rocket. Okay, so you, you play the game, you unlock stuff. It's pretty typical. Ability launch a satellite that collects money for you. Okay. Right. 
Level 5? Have I gone straight to level 5? Why is my ability bar shaking? Um, and what buttons do I push? Do I need to move with WASD? Uh, tap or press space to skip. Is this the tutorial? Did I just skip it by accident? Oh dear. Um, am I already at a boss? Where am I going? Uh, wow. Well, there you go. Final score. It couldn't just be one. You got so many zeros, that's how good you were. At least, I, you know, I've equaled my high school. Get zero more points to beat your record. Well, that's just a kick in the face, isn't it? Of course, that's what's going to happen. Uh, go back to title screen. Well, that doesn't work. Um, hello? Uh, that link doesn't work. Let's close it and open it again. Open. Open build. Honey fun. Made with Unity. There I am. There's my save. Let's choose it. Load save. Yeah, let's give it another whirl. Okay. This makes a little more sense now. Booster bird. Reward. Unlock the falcon. Okay. Maybe not. Let's play it. There's no instructions. I'm going to see if I can figure it. It's gone straight to level 5 again. Is that right? Should that happen? Is there a level 1 to 4? I know I've got to do something with A and D, I can move left and right. This is kind of taking me up into space, I can move. Avoid those things, is it? Okay, I'm not going to tap or press space to skip, I just want to see what happens. Yeah, so I've got a little light, light shine on me. That thing's going to go, is it? No? Magnet comes out. Can't move. Can I move? And I've showed it the boss. Um, I think you need to put in a little explanation. I mean, I'm not the smartest gamer in the world. Um, I don't really understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, I've caught this. And then spacebar throws it back. Okay, so you catch you catch them and then you throw them. I've got that one. Game over. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, graphical wise, it looks nice. Um, it's definitely, you know, you can tell it's a mobile game, obviously. I'm sure it's it's great. Um, it's just you you need to really tell the player how to play because it's frustrating, especially having to go back around, you know, so many times. Um, and that doesn't work. Let me see if I can load it up one more time. I'd like to give everything a fair go. See if I can figure it out. And I'm really not missing anything. There's no tutorial, there's no idea. Play, space shuttle. I can't play with another one. Launch, just straight to level five. Maybe that's why I'm so terrible, because uh, I shouldn't be at level five straight away. My health, my ability. How do I even use my ability? Is it space bar? I'm not sure. Anyway, I can click to. See, I can move here. There doesn't really seem to be any need to move left and right in that section. Okay, I, I get the premise. I, I can avoid the yellow ones because they're going to burn me up. I can collect the blue ones. I throw them back at the boss. Do I just avoid that? I don't know. It doesn't really tell me. I, I, all I know right now is the blue ones I can collect. And I can shoot them back. And my, my ability... I missed him. No, definitely can't touch those. And definitely can't touch. And I didn't get any score. And I, I hit him like twice and I still didn't get anything. I'm going to leave it there. Um, you need to be more clear. Tell me what I need to do. Don't let me assume things because I'm going to assume wrong and I'm going to get it wrong and I'm going to get frustrated and it's going to want to make me quit. Tell me really, really simply. This is what you need to do to beat the level and then get it progressively harder and add more mechanics in. That's my feedback. Um, thanks for taking the time to, to make the game. Um, well, it didn't make it for me, but you know, thanks anyway. Uh, it was fun playing. I'm going to leave it right there and I'm going to go and do another one. Hello world, this is the first game I've ever released. Oh, I wish I, I can play this one. Can I play this one?
Geospace. I can. Geospace. Who made this? Who made it? Who made it? Groovy Master. All right, I want to give it a. I'm going to give it a play. Um, there is a lot of text down here. Earth is being attacked by a mysterious robotic fleet. Humanity's only hope is that a nuke. Well, of course, it's all reliant on nuclear warfare. Uh, only hope that a nuke can make its way to the robotic fleet's mothership and destroy it. That sounds very much like Independence Day. You take the part of an onboard AI. Interesting. Tasked with protecting the nuke and destroying all robots that get in its way. Your weapon? A plasma ball that you must bounce into the enemy with your shield. Out of all this high technology and nuclear warfare and robots taking over the world, my best weapon is a bouncy ball. Android controls. Press the left and right sides of the screen to move. Gather energy by destroying enemy ships. Apply energy by pressing the button in the bottom left hand co corner to unleash. Okay, it's all overwhelmingly confusing. Teach me by play. Let me learn through playing. I don't like to read and learn because I will forget once I get into the game and then I will become frustrated. Nice, look at all of this information as soon as I start the game. It all doesn't need to be there. I don't need to know all of this stuff. So there's a tutorial. It's like, where do I look and where do I click? There's things bouncing around in the background. There's a high score, there's coins. This could definitely be simpler. Music on and off. No, just click. Music is by Dual Tracks Chip Tune. Dual Tracks Chip Tune is in no way connected to Geospace in any way. So it's not connected. He just has some great free music. Great. Legal, don't want to read that. SoundCloud, don't care. Tutorial. Okay. This is not a tutorial. This is a how to play screen. A tutorial is playable. Earth is under attack by a robotic fleet from space. The United Earth leaders, oh, finally they become united, have decided to make the only intelligent decision. <laughs> Nuke it. You, an onboard AI, for the nuke, must defend it while simultaneously clearing its path to the enemy mothership. If the mothership is destroyed, the fleet will scatter. Good luck. Android. Press the left and right sides of it. It's so text heavy. I don't feel like you need to have all of this here. Just give me a really basic first level where I can master the controls and just let me play. I don't want to read an essay. Uh, whilst waiting to play again. Gather energy by destroying enemies. Use energy by pressing the energy button. Press the left and right arrow keys to move. Gather energy by destroying enemies. Use energy by... There's so much to learn. Energy health coins. I'm going to pick it up as I go along. Bounce the ball into the enemy ships. Protect your ship from attack. And I'm back to here again. Yeah, that was kind of like a playthrough how to play screen. Anyway, let's just go on to the game. Initiating launch. Um, there's a pause button up there. Is that pause? Oh, I can pause. Um, do I? Okay, I can use the arrow keys. Okay, is that a shield? Presumably, I've just got to protect. Oh, I'm bouncing the ball around. I get it. I bounce the ball. Okay, this is like breakout. It's effect okay, it's effectively break out, and I'm also protecting my shield. And that that ball, if I'm not ready for that ball, it just drops. There we go. Okay, <laughs> two things to do at the same time. This is a multitasking game. I've got to protect this little red triangle and shoot this purple ball into enemies. There we go. Get it going sideways. I don't really need to worry about that. Yeah, this t you've got two kind of concepts that um, that are very difficult to do at the same time because it's a case of okay, lose the ball or let the ship get hit. I'm not. I mean, it's okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it works together. Like, let me defend the ship or let me focus on 
getting a ball. I, I, can't, I don't know if it's possible to do two at the same time. Maybe it is. I mean, let's, let's retry. See, it's quite a simple concept to get. I don't think you needed all of those screens of text to get that message across. Like really just a simple little first level with like maybe one enemy and one ball just to grasp the concept of the game. Yeah, there's no way to save that ball every time. And like even now, like I'm so worried about getting hit by the ship. Oh, I just can't keep it in the air. Go, 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 drop. At least let me be in control of when the ball drops, because then at least I can wait until... So maybe I just care less about the ship and more about trying to kill those enemies. I can get health pickups. The ball's gone. Okay, looks like I beat a level. Like, let me let me drop the. Can I shoot with spacebar? Okay, when I get enough energy, I can. Where do I pick up the energy from again? Is it the yellow bits? Is it the yellow things, or does it just replenish over time? Go, go sideways. Stay up in the air. I've got energy, and if I use it, oh, it ran out. Go that way. Kill that thing. I mean, it's okay. You get the hang of it. At first, it's a bit overwhelming. Get energy, 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 energy. And then I can shoot. Don't need to. Shoot. Shoot the energy. Collect these little things. Where's my health? I'm obviously picking up these little health things, but... It doesn't give me an indicator of how much life I have left, which would be useful because if I could see that and see that I've got full health, I could then be less inclined to worry too much about saving this green triangle and more about getting the ball up in the air. Whereas if I've got very low health, then um, oh, I could have got that. And that. Then if I had low health, then I'd worry more about protecting the triangle until I picked up the health pickups. But I've got a few, a few levels. Am I going to get a high score? I'm on level 4 already. Oh dear, I got shot. So how many hits can my ship take before it's... Um... Oh, I missed it. How many, ship... how many hits can I take before I die? Over. And is there a consequence for losing that ball, or do I just have to wait until the next one comes available? Is there a certain amount of balls that I can get? I don't know. These are all things that could be added in. You know, if you've got all of these different mechanics in play, should there be like a cost reward system for using them or picking one? Um, that, that could make it a little bit more interesting. I mean, it's quite samey at the moment, it's quite repetitive. Um, is there a way? that you could maybe make it a little bit less repetitive, let me be different colour triangles coming in. Am I going to get to a boss level in a minute? Some kind of indication of how well I'm doing. I know that it's I'm going up to the levels and my high scores going up. But maybe something a little more. Like, and definitely an indicator of when that purple ball is going to drop down because it's annoying as hell just waiting for it. Nice. Come on. Get that purple ball. And I keep wanting to go over and block those things, even though they're not going to go anywhere near the ship. And then losing that purple ball and having to wait, that's the annoying bit. I just want to crack on and kill things, but having to wait for that ball to respawn. Okay, last level. Well, the one, the last level I'm going to play. Level 6. There's a blue hat. <laughs> I think it's a spaceship. It looks like a blue hat. What's the highest score you've got? Or has anyone got? Do I need that health? See, that's the thing. I don't know how much health I have, so I don't know whether it's worth risking to go over and get it. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Um, it's okay. I mean, it, it, it functions you know, the way you'd expect it to. I'm not sure about the mechanics. I don't think that Breakout combined with kind of blocking the, you know, this thing works too well because quite often you have to decide whether to save the ball or save the ship. Um, it would be useful to get an idea of how much health we have 
um, so I could make better choices on what to try and collect and what to what to pick up. Um, maybe give me control over the ship rather than the shield, um, and then the ship could be used to bounce the ball. That could possibly be you know a slightly better way of doing it, but but it's okay. Um, I'm going to leave it right there for today. Hope the feedback was useful. I hope it was fun watching somebody play your games. I know it's always fun when people play my games um, on the internet. So uh, there you go. If you want to submit a game, leave a comment below with a link to your itch page. As long as it's a web build or a Mac downloadable, I will play it on the channel. Give you some feedback, my thoughts and feelings on the whole thing. Until next time, that's it from me.